I've driven by this many times without really looking at it. It just kind of looks, and it could be all natural. It looks like some of the walls, the monolithic, megalithic walls around the Andes and Peru and Bolivia. How those corners all meet nicely. Formed and placed. Still elephant rocks. So, no one's really come up with the best explanation. You know, besides time and erosion. What were you doing, jumping? <laughs> Are you camping there? <laughs> oh, you're climbing. Yeah. How's it going? Oh, well, I heard that. Well, at least you had padding. Yeah. You know, these rocks are kind of strange. Oh, they're very textured. Yeah. It's really interesting. Yeah. So. Um, do you know where Minasauk Falls is? You know where Mina Sauk Falls is? It'd be a good place to practice. Tom Sauk Mountain, just not too far south okay. of here. Oh, little trail, maybe two miles, but man, you can do whatever you want. That's good. And stuff that blows some of this away. So. <laughs> just for future reference. Yeah, just south of Arcadia Valley. It's really cool. Okay. Yeah, I know there's a good amount of areas right here. Yeah, I mean, um, I've been doing this for 35 years plus and I'm still finding stuff I've never found before. Oh, he's practicing his rock climbing. I didn't want to bug him. But yeah. It almost looks, look. There are a lot of places in South America and the Americas, you know, heck. We have some monolithic stones. And some of the things I've seen in this general area led me to believe it's really ancient. I know some natural features that can be on these eroded rocks, but. Some of it's like, um, you know what I mean? Is that really just a crack in one piece of granite? Or is that one placed on top of the ones underneath it, which are huge, man. I mean, tons as big as any you'll see. On any other continent, I mean, it's just huge. Yeah. I really don't think it's completely a natural formation myself. Let's look. <laughs> 